welcome back today we will see about lookup range in excel in excel activity in power automate desktop okay so let's see the description or detail on lookup function so lookup is basically to find and return the result of some particular value which you are trying to search in the excel worksheet so this is the syntax okay so lookup and then the lookup value which you are trying to find and then where you are trying to find and where from where you want the corresponding value to come from okay so suppose you have an excel like this okay so you have a few values here here so based on this value you want to find the corresponding value of column c okay okay so this is the syntax okay and also you know, should note that it the lookup vector must be in ascending order so here you are trying to look up right so from a and b you are trying to look up uh, and uh, the all the your uh, columns and rows should be in ascending order okay fine so let's see the uh, demo i have prepared one small flow so this is my excel so let's see the excel also okay let's i have not opened the excel uh, let's run it and see okay so here i am searching for uh, the value phone in the excel and uh, i want the corresponding value from column c okay so value is given as 87 in the flow variable let's see the excel also so here is my excel so if you see here actually it has sorted in ascending order that's why the header is coming here but that is not a worry you are getting the correct value so let me sort it again just for your understanding um, where did the sort go Okay. So okay, this cannot be applied on us. Okay, so here is my header, type, name, ID. And these are the values. So based on suppose value of a phone, I want, I want value eighty seven. Okay, or based on value car, I want forty four. Right. So. So I need to pass. I need to first sort this data, okay, and then uh, I need to pass that lookup range in that uh, in the in the Power Automate desktop, okay. So let's go back to yeah here. So here I have sorted the cells, okay, given the Excel instance active sheet, sort by column A. Basically, it will sort the entire sheet. If you just keep column A ascending, and you just uh, disable this uh, checkbox okay now you come to lookup range so you have we are finding the value of uh, phone and the corresponding value in column c okay so here you have to specify accordingly so here you have to give specific ranges like a to c and these are three columns so i given one two three so this uh, end row you can find uh, by using excel activities uh, if you know it beforehand you can pass it here or you have to determine it at runtime and pass it over here in the form of a variable and then here a value as c and this is the first starting row and then where is my end row this also you can determine using some logic okay so and where my value would be stored it in lookup range lookup result variable in that is a flow variable so from column c i will get the corresponding value based on uh, this a range a to c okay so here it is searching for from uh, searching for value phone in the excel and where from where i'm getting the corresponding value is from column c okay so let's run it uh, let's change it to car we already seen phone so let's see whether it is correct or not so let's run it one more time Forty-four. So let's go back to our Excel. 
so here the car value is 44 as you have seen earlier okay so i think this is working fine so if you have any doubt just uh, put in the comments and do subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know if you want to have a, a new video for any topic which you are finding difficult i will try my best to prepare a video on that so thank you so much and please do subscribe thank you so much bye bye